can't just think we're going to go out here and play with two guys. I mean, you know, I, was, I was here in the first stint, and we were down there by Fresno State, we were down in the first team to the center. So we got, we got to have guys. We got to work to develop players that you know, go on the road and travel 10, and we got to have four centers. Yeah, I mean, really tough for a young guy like him to come in here and run a system like this. But he's done a good job. You know, we're, we're giving him a lot of reps in an effort to, because I think he's got some talent. He's got a, he's got a great some combination of size. And I think he's a tough, and I think he's going to be physical. You know, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's out there, but I think he's got some really, really good attributes that you really want to develop in I just saw he get more reps there. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, he is a big man. I mean, when that big man comes down, 
on you in a run play, they're feeling you know, I can promise you that. I feel like he's showed up a lot of his footwork, his fits, and stuff like that. And he's, he's done a really good job. Getting to a spot where, where he's ready to, to respond to the act. You've, you've had a spring now and a couple weeks of camp. Yeah. Have they adapted to you, do you think? Do, do you feel like they've. Just a new voice, you know, like. Do you feel like. Inside linebacker or a lineman out here. Um, I'm doing things the way I feel like. They're going to be really service. And they got to trust that I'm doing that. And, uh, at the end of the day, you know, my, my goal is to make them the absolute best football player they can be. So, I mean, it's. I guess my point was that takes time, probably, right? I didn't. Mm, there's no, there's no. Culture no. piece, all of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. This just takes time. Yeah. For, for Nolan, and being a left tackle, what kind of let him go on the left side, and just how is he going to work through that? Well, I think he's, he's done a good job. You know, we flipped him over there. He came out to spring. We saw some things that we could, you know, made some competition. But when he got in there, put it back to left tackle. And I think that's kind of where he feels more natural there. Um, but he knows he's got a bit of a and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, I think he's having a really good time. You know, he's starting to use his hands. He is light on his feet. I mean, he he knows how to you know, like the pass ball and stuff like that. It's just you know, learning what we're trying to accomplish here. You know, the scheme that we're trying to do is inspiring. You know, He's, he's, he's in a good spot right now where he's at. He's getting a lot of reps and he's staying healthy, you know, and uh, just taking it. Apologizing for this is really rallying the first team reps. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit long. You know, I would say coming out of the spring, okay, he, he kind of knows what he's getting into. Then you know, coming off of the spring, I'd say, okay, he's settled in a little bit. Now I'd say he's gaining momentum. You know what I mean? But we're not there. Last question, Ryan. With Joe coming back from his shoulder surgery and whatnot at center, how is he continuing to get back? Is it like where like he never left, or how is he kind of working through? You all right, dude? You'll be okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll make it through. I'll make it through. <laughs> but with, with Joe Tittman, just how has he gotten back from shoulder injury and kind of just boosting those roles at center? Yeah, I mean, I, I think he, as far as, you know, shoulder injury, he can, he, you know, he looks great that way. You know? I mean, he hadn't played football in a while, so he's not going to rust off. But he's a guy that's got some high level traits, and we just need to get him a lot of reps, and he needs to be, you know, get past the four point and comfortable in playing, you know. He's got experience in playing so much, you know, so it's not like he's one of these other guys we've talked about. 
You know what I mean? So um, I, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking for him still some big jumps in this camp. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just wanted to ask, uh, during the spring, guys talked about you teaching more of a vertical set. What's, can you kind of explain that and what, why you like teaching that more? Well, I just, you know, if you look at it's just, it's just, it's from the starting point, it's just being a little bit more aggressive. Okay. I just, I don't want to put a guy out there. It's as, as simple as it gets, and I still think they can get to where they need to get, you know, but just but just be a little bit more. You know, when you got a guy like, uh, um, you know, Josh Oli was 6'8", 330 pounds, you know. He can't be flying out there in the air and thinking he's going to stay with a, you know, some guy that's screaming off the edge, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just more being more conservative, giving himself some good angles, you know. It's really built for those guys. And I'm curious, you have a couple of guys jumping into bigger roles this year. What are you, in terms of guys making the jump, what are you looking for in terms of uh, what you, uh, in terms of practices? What are you looking for from them? Well, I'm looking for results. Offensive football is, you know, one of these guys know the players. You know, do they, you know, they, are they consistent with their technique? You know? I mean, those are two huge roles right there. I mean, you don't get to those next levels if you're not, you know, you're, you're clicking the hockey. It's almost serious. I'm looking for guys to where, you know, I don't think you ever, like, you totally master anything. I'm looking for some high level of consistency and then they can move on to the next thing. Thanks, Bob. Okay.